Russian President Vladimir Putin has vowed to defend Russia against an armed rebellion, led by mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin, who has moved his troops from Ukraine into a key city south of Moscow. This uprising, which Putin considers a betrayal, is seen as the most significant threat to his leadership in over two decades. Prigozhin's private army, known as Wagner, appears to control the military headquarters in Rostov-on-Don a city responsible for Russian offensive operations in Ukraine. In his address, Putin condemned the rebellion and promised that those involved would face punishment. Prigozhin, on the other hand, claimed to be a patriot and accused the Russian military leaders of botching the war in Ukraine. His aims for the rebellion are unclear, but it is seen as an escalation in his dispute with the military. Prigozhin confirmed that he and his troops reached Rostov-on-Don after crossing the border from Ukraine. He posted videos showing his presence at the Russian military headquarters and claimed control over military facilities in the city. Reports suggest that Wagner troops may have seized a second city on their way to Moscow, although this is unconfirmed. The rebellion has caused a state of emergency in Moscow with heightened security measures and broad powers given to law enforcement. Putin characterized the situation as Russia fighting against the West's military, economic, and information campaign, as sanctions are imposed on Moscow and Ukraine is armed. The Russian security services have called for Prigozhin's arrest, and various officials and state media personalities have publicly reaffirmed their loyalty to the Kremlin, urging Prigozhin to back down. The outcome of the confrontation remains uncertain, but it could hinder Russia's war effort in Ukraine and potentially affect Putin's ability to maintain a united front. Prigozhin's Wagner forces have played a crucial role in Ukraine, but he has been increasingly critical of Russia's military leadership. He refused to sign contracts with the defense ministry and accused them of attacking Wagner camps. The article mentions a heightened military presence in Moscow, but life in the city, including bars and restaurants, seems relatively unaffected. International actors are monitoring the situation, and the violent overthrow of Putin loyalists is seen as potentially damaging to his hold on power and Russia's stability. The White House has stated that it is monitoring the developments and will consult with allies and partners.